day we we're going to speak about that anything in life is possible. How many of you believe this? That's it. Anything in life is possible. If you make it happen. This story goes like this. To, just to prove again that anything in life is possible. Remember, that's our theme today, isn't it? Going together. For one year, they both lost their respective spouses. The little lady was 98. The little man, George, was 104. They were, they were on the love boat together. They were living together. God, they were having great sex together. They were going to play. And they were taking dancing. They were, you know, they were just having a ball. At the end of the year, the little lady became ill. Oh, this disturbed both of them. You know, because they were having so much fun. So George sent little Jenny to Mayo Clinic for a complete physical. That's one of the greatest clinics in the world. Five days she's there. Took every test known to science. At the end of the fifth day, the doctors had a consultation with her. And they said, Mrs. We know your problem. What's my problem, doctor? Oh, I'm just, I want to feel well again. They have so much fun like we were having. What's my problem? And the doctor says, you are pregnant. <laughs> she, she's like this. Say that again, doctor. You are pregnant. She said, that's impossible. I'm 98 years old. George is 104. She said, lady, we in Mayo Clinic, we never make a mistake. By this time, she's mad. She said, Doctor, may I borrow your phone? Surely. He goes, choo, 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 choo. Hello, George. You dirty old man, you got me pregnant. <laughs> and there's silence on the phone about three minutes. And finally says, Who is this? <laughs> you know what? You and I are the sum total of our habits. What makes you what you are is what you do. You know, thoughts are things. What you think, what you put in your body, what you eat, the exercise you do. These habits. So what did it cost me to change from death's door, from hell to heaven? That's the transition. From hell to heaven. I just changed a few bad habits, replaced them with good habits, and the whole life changed. It was just like that. That's when it started. That's when it started. Then I was so caught up with physical fitness. I wanted everybody to, to, to be sick. They were all the fat people. I wanted to make them thin, the skinny ones. I wanted to build them up. I wanted to get the old people to bring, get back that new youthful bigger boy so they could have some pep in their step that could be doing things. I wanted to get these old people, get them off of their big butts and get them up doing things and dancing and having a little fun like George and his girlfriend. You know, what we know today about nutrition, what we know about exercise, what we know about vitamins, what we know about the mind and correlation to the body, there is no reason for anybody to be fat. There's no reason for anybody to be skinny. There's no reason for anybody to be old prematurely. I am convinced that 90% of the diseases that we have in this country today are self-inflicted. You make it happen. If something happens to you in your life, something negative, who do you think made it happen? God? The devil? You! Why do you think I have these 35-inch hips that I'm so proud of? <laughs> you know why these buns are tight and small? Every time I make a mistake, I kick myself there. That's why. I love you and God bless you all. I think you're fantastic. Thank you for letting me be here.